Hi guys, Dom Decaus here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a program for the distance formula. Real quick, I already have one made up, so let me uh, give you a demonstration. I have it under D form for a distance formula. So here's how it works. If you have your first x coordinate, which we'll say is negative 1, and your second one, which is 1, and then your x2 is uh, 2 and your, X, your Y2 is 5 so those are just your uh, two ordered pairs there um, obviously the first one is y, X1 and Y1 and your second one is X2 and Y2 so just hit enter so here's what's really cool about the program um, it gives you the work for it as well. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. Maybe not. Anyway, as you can see, here we got 2 minus 1, which is 3, and 5 minus 1, which is 4. So then it's 3 and 4, and then you square it and you get 9 and 16. And then you get 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the distance between those two points is 5. Um, then you hit enter once you're done copying all your work down or whatever. and It'll ask you if you want to try again, and if you say yes, it'll just bring you back to that first page, and if you say no, it'll end the program, and you're done. So, let's get started. First, you're going to need to go into your programs and make a new one. Because I already have one under the name I want, I'm just going to name this A, B, C, D, E, F. Sounds good, but you should probably name it something that you'll remember. All right, so to begin, we just want to start with a label. So program, scroll down until you find label, hit enter, then type in one, then hit enter again. Now, um, for this next step, you'll need to go to another video I have up on how to make um, a basic clear and then unclear program. Well, they're two separate programs, but I'll leave a link or you can click anywhere so I'll have it annotated and you need to make that program and then come back and finish this one up. So you'll go to, once you have that done, you'll go to program EXEC and scroll down until you find the one uh, clear. So you want to start with that one. Hit enter. So that'll actually run that program in this program. So program section. Now we're going to start with our inputs so program write input then type alpha plus hit this button here with x x1 so you know which x to put in this is just the first number your first ordered pair so it's pretty simple and then second math enter alpha plus again and then hit comma, which is next to the parentheses, and then hit alpha A. Then hit enter again, do the same thing, program, write, enter, and then alpha plus. This time we just need it to be Y, so you'll hit alpha 1, and then hit 1 again, and then hit second math, and there's your equal sign, and put that in. And second plus, or alpha plus, I'm sorry, comma alpha b. Do that again. So program, write, input, alpha plus, x2. So this is the first number of your second ordered pair. Second math, enter, then alpha plus again, then comma alpha c, and then hit enter. And then hit program, write, enter, alpha plus, alpha 1 again. This time you want to hit 2, so you got your y2. And then second math, enter, there's your equal sign, and then alpha plus, and then comma, alpha d. All right, so now you're done. Those will be your four um, points that you'll put in. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So those are the, just the numbers from your ordered pairs. Then hit enter. Now this next part is kind of tricky. And you'll have to 
kind of pay attention because if you mess this up, you'll keep getting error messages. And there's a lot of code involved with it. This is what allows you to uh, see all the work um, so that you don't have to do anything really. So we're going to start with second program this time and then hit the up arrow and you'll come to text, then hit enter. Now hit one comma one comma. And now this is when it starts to get tricky. So you're going to want to hit alpha plus and then second x squared. So you get your square root sign and then put a second parentheses in and then hit alpha plus again, then hit comma, and then hit alpha C, wherever that is, comma, alpha plus, minus sign, alpha plus, comma, alpha A, I believe, yeah, A, comma again, then alpha plus, then close parentheses, squared symbol, plus sign, open parentheses, and then alpha plus again, then comma, then alpha D, comma, alpha plus, and then the minus sign, and then alpha plus again, then comma, then alpha b comma alpha plus and then you're going to hit close parentheses squared then another close parentheses and then alpha plus now we're going to do that same thing with the text again so second program up arrow then you come to text then hit enter now this time hit 8 comma 1 comma and this time you're going to start with the same thing as here and go alpha plus second x squared open parentheses alpha plus comma parentheses alpha c minus alpha a close parentheses comma alpha plus close parentheses squared plus open parentheses alpha plus comma and then um, close or open parentheses alpha d minus alpha b close parentheses comma alpha plus close parentheses, squared, close parentheses. Now hit enter, now hit program, or second program again, because we're still doing the text, and then hit um, 15, comma, 1, comma, alpha plus, second, x squared, open parentheses, uh, alpha plus, comma, um, and this time you're going to want to hit open parentheses, alpha C minus alpha A, close parentheses, squared, comma, alpha plus, close parentheses, plus, open parentheses, oops, alpha plus, comma, open parentheses, uh, alpha D minus alpha B close parentheses squared comma alpha plus two close parentheses and then alpha plus to end it no oh, we missed one up here my apologies scroll back up two lines and put an alpha plus at the end of that one there My bad. I'm sorry. <clears throat> now, once you're done with that, make a uh, make a new line. Then same thing. Second program up text. 
this time you're going to hit 22 comma 1 comma alpha plus second x squared um, then open parentheses again then alpha plus and this time and then comma and then you're going to hit open parentheses alpha c minus alpha a close parentheses squared plus um, open parentheses alpha d minus alpha b close parentheses squared comma and then you're going to er, going to have uh, alpha plus close parentheses alpha plus then hit enter this is your last line of text code so second program text 29 comma 1 comma and this time just without parentheses per, er, without quotations um, so you're just going to hit second x squared or yeah and then parentheses alpha c minus alpha a close parentheses squared plus alpha er with your parentheses there alpha d minus alpha b close parentheses squared close parentheses and then hit enter now go to program scroll down until you find pause hit enter hit enter again now you're going to need to go to program and again and scroll down until you find menu there it is and now I'll type alpha plus um, second alpha um, try t r y space which is the zero again a g a i n and then question mark which is the negative sign and then hit plus then hit alpha comma alpha plus then second alpha yes y e s plus sign alpha comma one comma alpha plus second alpha no plus alpha comma two then hit enter then hit program we're going to set another label here and this one will be label two then hit enter then program and this is where you need that unclear program so find it uh, select it just like you did for clear and hit enter and then hit program scroll down until you find stop there it is hit enter and then you're done so let's go ahead and test it out second quit program a b c d e f for me whatever it is for you go ahead and run it so there it is we we'll give it a test negative one one two and five the answer should be five and it is and everything looks good it's three is four is nine is sixteen nine plus sixteen is twenty five square root of twenty five is five hit enter uh, I do want to try again seven four five I guess eight nine so yeah the distance between those two ordered pairs is four point one two three one oh five six then hit enter no I don't want to try again and it says I'm done so thanks guys um, if you have a video that you want me to make or another program you want to see just uh, leave a comment or send me a PM or do whatever need you need to do so thanks for watching I'll see you next time